let me get into this oxidized cholesterol. You probably never heard that word before and why it's way worse than just eating raw cholesterol. A significant body of evidence indicates oxidized cholesterol, and it's in a form called oxysterols, is one of the main triggers of Alzheimer's disease. Bam. How's that for an opening line? But that's not all. Cholesterol oxidation products, they're called COPS, cholesterol oxidation products, are associated with the initiation and progression of major chronic diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and kidney failure. So once again, we'll put this in the Dr. Joe was right column way back when. Gave the advice 40 years ago, give up animal products. 40 years later, studies are coming out every day showing why I was right. So these cholesterol oxidation products are produced when animal products are heated. I've talked about this a while ago. When you heat something, you destroy enzymes, and enzymes are necessary for every function in your body. But now when you're heating it, the cholesterol is oxidized. All forms of cooking can do this since you're getting maximum cholesterol oxidation uh, at only 300 degrees Fahrenheit. But some, ty some types of cooking may be worse than others. Microwaving chicken or beef appears to produce twice as much cholesterol oxidation as frying. If you look at bacon, raw bacon doesn't have any oxidized cholesterol. Don't eat raw bacon. But we did the studies and we found this out. Like all animal products, it has cholesterol, but it's not oxidized until you cook it. Killing seems to be the safest way of eating meat right away, which is strange because I'll tell you why I, don't, I like that idea. But if you put leftovers in the refrigerator, reheat them, this, uh, even using the same method, uh, the oxidation, uh, oxidized cholesterol skyrocket.